Uh, the situation is dire out in Lemonster. We're going to stay all over this. Uh, Brandon Truitt is on the ground there. He joins us live. Brandon, uh, please just describe the scene, what you're seeing, and uh, what you've learned so far about conditions out there. You know, in a way, the fire department and first responders, I feel, are just catching their breath. It was incredibly chaotic just about 10 or 15 minutes ago as they're trying to get cars to turn away. We're on the hill here uh, in North Lemonster, just about uh, up the street a bit on North Main Street where it meets Prospect. And I want to show you a little bit of what is feeding this problem. The hill here where we're at on Main Street is really just a river, and that's no exaggeration at this point as water is just pouring down the street. You'll look at that car that's trying to make their way through. Um, some of that water. It doesn't look that deep from here, um, but of course, when the cars try to make their way through, they realize it, and in some places, too late. If we follow these trucks down the road here and make our way just down the street, one of the concerns that first responders are telling us are these potholes that are not um, covered, the manholes that essentially the caps have floated off somewhere else. We saw emergency management place this sign here trying to uh, deter people from going there, but a lot of that is covered by water. Water further down the street. So we're seeing cars that are getting stuck. At this point, emergency management is trying to flex their manpower here. They have people placed in intersections trying to help people find a way home as so many roads are closed at this point. We know Route 2 is closed in both directions. A lot of the streets, as you can see, this fire truck just blocked this road in the last three minutes or so, and they're trying to deter people from traveling on these roads where this water is flowing down. You heard the mayor making the plea for people to stay home as best they could. We're not able to make it into the main part of town because of those road closures and a lot of people are figuring that out in real time. Schools at this point we know have been canceled uh, due to the flooding and what they're expecting to be a significant amount of damage. Uh, at this point we're going to keep monitoring the comings and goings here. Water level continuing to flow down these streets and feeding the major flooding that's happening behind us. For now live in Lemonster, Brandon Truett, WBC News. All right Brandon, thank you.